Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the YSL Beauty Advent Calendar. This retails for $350 on the YSL Beauty website. However, I found it for less. It is also on the Selfridges website for $220. And even with shipping, it comes to less than what you would pay on the US website. It has been going in and out of stock, however. So if you are interested in this or any other advent calendar, make sure you follow me here on YouTube and my Instagram at A Heated Mess. That's where I will always post deals and sales and new launches and just some great luxury deals. So make sure you follow me on both. Before I get to the unboxing real quick, I wanted to answer some questions that people have been asking me. I have been unboxing a lot of advent calendars recently and you may have noticed my jewelry. My rings are from Oat Carrot. They are a jewelry company here in the United States. They're based out of Chicago and all their jewelry is handmade. And what's great is that all their diamonds are lab created. So you don't have to worry about any conflict diamonds. I love that all their jewelry is 100% ethical, 100% conflict free. You don't have to worry about where their diamonds are sourced because they are all sourced here in the United States. They offer free shipping and a 100 day refund. And what's great about specifically the engagement rings, they have a trade in policy where if you want to upgrade your ring for an anniversary or another special occasion, you can trade it in and they will buy it back for 100% of the value that you paid. This ring that I'm wearing is the Radiant Cut Halo in rose gold. It's about two carat diamond total weight with pave diamonds all along the side. And the ring is also a pave diamond engagement ring. I also have these beautiful oval inside out hoop earrings. I wore these to a wedding recently and I got so many compliments. I had my hair up throughout the wedding and it really showed off my earrings. However, even with my hair down, which I wear my hair down most of the time, these are still so sparkly and so easy to see kind of through your hair or underneath your hair. My other favorite piece from them is this necklace and what's cool about this necklace is it comes in this jewelry box that looks like a little faceted gem. And when you open it, it has a light inside. So it just gives off the most incredible sparkle. It's so eye-catching when you open it and it looks even better on. This is yellow gold. My rings are rose gold and the diamond hoops are white gold. This necklace is the mixed shape diamond bar necklace. This makes a beautiful statement necklace and you can also stack it if you want. So these are all from Oat Carrot. This video is not sponsored by the way. I just wanted to share my jewelry with you because a lot of you have been asking like, hey, give me details about those wedding rings. And I just love this set. I love the halo. They have a lot of options, so make sure you check them out. I will have all the information for this jewelry in the description box below, and you can use my code, a heated mess, to save. All right, now let's get into this YSL advent calendar. Now, the outer packaging is very similar to how they've always done it before. It comes in this sleeve that kind of protects the outside of it. And then on the back of this, it tells you everything that's inside. Let's just get into it. Now, this arrived actually pretty intact. However, if you look up close, this one had a little bit of a ding. I don't want to mess with this because I think it will crack and <laughs> completely and then fall off. The back is plain and let's open it up. I'm gonna have to use this snow globe to keep this open. <laughs> okay, so here it is all opened up. Again, the layout is very similar. The only thing is the colors are different. This year it's black and gold. Last year was white and gold, and a couple years ago it was like maroon and gold. Nice little star design here. So here is day one right up here. I love these refillable drawers inside. Day one, you have a little sparkly gold design on the front. So day one is the Rouge Porcator. I think it's the shade one. It says 01 in the gold packaging. By the way, spoiler alert. The YSL advent calendar is notoriously very lipstick heavy and specifically very red lipstick heavy, but we'll see. We'll see if it's changed this year. <laughs> so this is the first day. It is a very bold, bright, like a blue based red. And I'll go ahead and swatchy swatch. Very nice red. Looks like it could be actually a little orange tone. No, I see the blue. It's more like purple blue based red. Day two is right here. And day two, we have the number two and the YSL logo again with a gold front. And we have a little pencil. Everything is very nicely packaged. Hopefully this was one of the advent calendars that a couple years ago I had a little snafu and a leak. Day two, we have waterproof eye pencil in shade number one, which I guess is black. Looks like black. And let's go and swatch it. Very nice uh, black eyeliner. I like their eyeliners. It performs very similarly to my other favorite eyeliners. I usually use like NARS or MAC and yeah, it does the trick. Day three is up here and it's a black matte design. 
Okay, this is the Black Opium. This is their one of their most popular fragrances. And I think this is their original Eau de Parfum. They have other flankers, like there's a green one and then a pink one, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure this is their original Eau de Parfum. Day four is here. And for day four, we have a sample of their mascara. This is the mascara volume in black. I'll go ahead and open it so you can see the wand. Nice, thick wand. I have used this before, but I, I really don't remember it being, I mean, I think it was fine. I feel like I only remember mascaras if they're really bad or if they're really great. So I guess you would say this is average. So we'll see. Day five is this larger gold box. Here is the slim leather matte lipstick. And this appears to be the full size because it has its separate individual packaging. The slim lipstick, I think this is new. Wait, is this new? I don't remember. Again, with most of my advent calendar videos, because I kind of want to be surprised because I'm opening all at once for you, I want to kind of experience that surprise the way a normal person would by opening this. So I don't really do a lot of research ahead of time unless I need to for like a cost breakdown purpose. But anyway, so this is the slim lipstick, the shade 1966 Rouge, Rouge Libre. And let's swatch it. Ooh, very cool design. This uh, reminds me of the Hourglass, like the really skinny lipstick. Let's swatch this. This one is a very orangey red, you can tell. It's matte. I prefer usually a satin or glossy finish, but I wouldn't mind using this. I usually would top a matte lipstick with a gloss though, so I'll see how that wears. But Okay, day six is in the corner here. It is a gold box, the YSL and the six. These are really well done. I don't think these are stickers. I think it's like printed or is it painted on? It looks really sturdy. Like it doesn't look like it's gonna peel off. Day six is another lipstick. This is called the Slim Velvet Radical in the shade 21 Rouge Paradox. Okay, another red. This is a brighter red than the day five, but I'll swatch this for you. Ooh, okay. I feel like this is a similar red to the first day. Yeah, I think so, but this is a matte. The packaging on this one is different also. This other slim lipstick was gold and black, and this one is all black, half glossy, half matte packaging. Very sleek. And day seven is here, it's black. We have the Touche Clot Blur Primer. And I loved, loved this primer for so long. I just thought it was so luxurious when you apply it. I'll, here, I'll apply it for you. I love this little mini travel size. I would always get this. And that's what it looks like. It's kind of like a silicone-y feeling. So if you like that as a primer, then you might like this one. It has little gold flecks, if you can see it. And when you apply it, it just makes your skin look so radiant, but not shiny you know, like not greasy. You can see the gold is really suspended in there. I, I haven't used this recently because I just really don't wear primers now in general, but if you like the full face of makeup, then you might like this one. Day eight is another little box here. Another mini lipstick. This is the Rouge Pour Couture in shade 21. And I hope it's a nude. It is not, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> So this is the Rouge Pour Couture. I'll swatch it here. I don't know the difference with these. Okay, I, is this more shinier? Okay, here's the first day and then here's this one. This is more fuchsia red. Day nine is down here. Is this another mascara? Okay, interesting. So the other mascara for day four was the Mascara Volume. Uh, day nine is Mascara Volume Radical. I wonder what the difference is. I have to check because it looks exactly the same. Maybe the brush is thicker. I feel like that's it. Yeah, it's a different line. I feel like this is more volume. Maybe the brush I think was bigger. Day 10 is this little gold box here. And we have something small. This is what leaked all over the first year that I unboxed this YSL advent calendar. This is the Expert Makeup Remover by Phase. You can see the little oil and water droplets not mixing until you shake it. And then it gives you a nice gentle eye makeup remover. I've used this before. I like it. It doesn't irritate my eyes and I wear contacts. So that's something I always look out for. I think this is a really tiny bottle. I think past years, the bottle was bigger. If that's the case, I have to go back and look, but I, but I think the bottle was bigger. I feel like this is so tiny. This is a 0.2 fluid ounce or eight ML. Day 11 is up here. 
another gold box. Oh, okay, we have the Pure Shots Night Reboot Serum. I've used all of their serum. I've tried all of their Pure Shots and they all have different goals, like different skincare goals. This is the Night Reboot Serum. So this is it. Again, it's like a biphase. So you would shake this up and shake it up some more. This is a 7 ml bottle. And let's do a little serum. Oh, that is liquidy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, here is a serum. Okay, I made the mistake of putting the serum on my hand, but I had sprayed the perfume and I was trying to see if there was fragrance in this, but all I smelled was the perfume, so I had to try it on my arm. And it has absorbed very quickly in my arm. It feels very hydrating and there's no scent, so that's good. Probably a good thing when there's no added fragrance in serums. Day 12, right here. We have, it feels like another lipstick. So we have the YSL Rouge Pour Couture in shade 70. Let's guess what shade this is. I remember the first year they had some funky shades. Okay, not bad. This is more of a kind of an everyday nude, like a wearable pink. I would wear that every day. Day 13 is up here. It is a black box. And oh, it's another perfume. I like how they have these individually wrapped in tissues. And we have the Mon Paris Eau de Parfum. I think this is the original one. It has the same little cute bow that the full-size fragrance does. This is a dab. Oh, I like that this even has a little dabber. This fragrance is a very nice, safe, classic floral. This would make a great gift for, you know, like a mom or grandma, or this is very much like an everyday fragrance versus the black opium would be more of a nighttime fragrance. Day 14 is a gold box, another lipstick. It is the Rouge Pour Couture shade 83. These are so tiny. The labels, I mean, the lipsticks aren't too tiny. That's a typical sample lipstick. Okay, this is a pretty shade. This is like a brick red. Oh, very nice. I like these. I think these are better for warm tone. You know, like if you're an autumn, you would like this shade. So day 15 is this big box. Ooh, I wonder what this is. We have this. This is the biggest box by far in the entire advent calendar. So we have this special, I feel like they could have jazzed it up. It has, it's just a plain black sticker. I mean, it's fine, but I mean, at least the Chanel advent calendar had Chanel stickers. Okay. Oh, cute. I saw this picture in the little sneak peeks of this. It is a keychain, and it has a mirror. Let's see, okay, you peel this off. Ooh, yes. Peel that off. Mm, okay, I don't want to peel it off all the way. <laughs> But there you go. You have a little mirror and it's on a keychain. This design is the, is similar to the advent calendar design with the little stars. It says YSL Butte here. And I love these keychain hooks, like the rings where you just push it in, kind of like a carabiner versus sometimes they have these key rings that are just, you can't open it with your nails. You know, you need a uh, staple remover. That's my hack but you can just push this open. So I don't know if I would hang this on my keys. It would just get messy, I think, or dirty. This would make a great travel mirror. Day 16 is this gold box and we have another Pure Shots. Okay, this is the Pure Shots Lines Away Serum. Now I have, like I mentioned, I did try all the Pure Shots, but I just tried the sample sizes. I think I did get maybe one full size cream like a moisturizer cream, but the serums, I tried these little samples and I mean, they seemed okay. Let's try this out here. So this is a thicker consistency than the other serum, Lines Away Serum. Okay, so I guess this is meant for anti-aging. It helps the appearance of fine lines. Day 17 is down here and we have something wrapped up. And, oh, okay, another Pure Shots. I wonder why it's not in a box like these. So a similar container, the Pure Shots Hydro Balance Lotion Essence. Now, I don't always have an essence in my skincare routine, but they're supposed to be good because what they do is they help your skin kind of open up so that it absorbs moisturizer and oils afterwards, if that makes sense. At least that's how it was explained to me. So a typical skincare routine would be cleanser, toner, essence, serum, moisturizer, 
and then oil. <laughs> so the essence is before your moisturizer. Day 18 is right here. Okay, so this is probably the full size box. This is the Rouge Volup Shine Oil and Stick. And I think this is the one that I really like. Okay, yes, oh, I love these ones. Okay, this is my favorite YSL lip formula because it really is almost like a tinted balm. So this is in the shade 86 Mauve and this is it. I like that it kind of gives you a hint of the shade here. So you're not kind of scrounging around looking for the right shade of lipstick, but there it is. So it's a very neutral lip balm, a tinted lip balm, and it's so slick and moisturizing. I love this. This is my favorite lip formula from YSL. And what I love about these is it's almost like YSL jewelry because what you can do is actually remove this. If you, I can't do it now, you need like tools or, or pliers to do this. This YSL logo right here is removable. It's not easily removable, but it is removable. Hopefully without damaging, you should use like a cloth, but you can remove this and it turns into a fashion ring. Okay, we love our luxury fashion hacks here on my channel. So, or maybe I'll do a how-to, but this would be like a thumb ring on me. So D19 is this little box right here. Okay, cute. Okay, this is what I've tried before. I like this one. This is the Pure Shots Perfect Plumper Cream and it's in a little tub. Let's open this up. Oh, look at that. It's, oh my gosh, look at that. It's so like bouncy. Can you see? It feels like whipped cream. Mm, smells good, very fresh. I love these little tubs, super cute. Okay, day 20 is up here. It is the black matte box with the gold 20 and the gold YSL. So for day 20, we have the Tatouage Couture Velvet Cream in the Velvet Matte Satin in shade 216. Nude emblem, okay, great, a nude. We love nude lipsticks. Ooh, look at the packaging. So sleek. Okay. This formula reminds me of the NARS, what was it like lip mousse? You know, it's not quite a uh, liquid lipstick. It's more moussey texture. It's not as drying, but that's the color. That's pretty. I would use this. This type of lip formula is very easy to apply. You can kind of mess around with it. It doesn't smudge. It's not super dry the way a dry matte lipstick would be. And you can also really sheer it out if you, do, if you don't want that much color. I mean, it's pretty pigmented, so a little goes a long way. Day 21. Okay, it's another mascara, the Lash Clash. If you guys have used the YSL mascaras, can you comment below? Because I really don't know the difference with the different formulas. I actually have not tried this one, so I'm reading the description from Sephora. This is described as intense volume and a deep black finish. Lash Clash Extreme Volume Mascara delivers up to 200% more volume with up to 24 hour smudge proof wear for intense color from root to tip. I have to open this up to see why is this so intense? Okay, love the little logo here. Ooh, I love these types of mascara wands. They're very fluffy. I just feel like it has better payoff. They might be a little harder to apply, so you have to be really careful because you don't want to kind of smudge around your eyes, but I prefer this type of mascara, so. If you look up the full size, this has a really pretty packaging. It's the black mascara tube, but then it has the gold YSL logo like 3D in metal, or what looks like metal, and it kind of wraps around the tube, so. Day 22 is this gold drawer right here, and we have another lipstick. <laughs> I can tell. It is the Rouge Pour Couture lipstick in shade 1966. Is that a year? How do the numbers go? It started off with one and we're at 1966. Okay. 1966 is this shade. Another kind of a brick red. Ah, oh, you guys, they're very similar. I, I just can't. It's a little orangey, I guess. Maybe a little orange base, kind of rustic brick red. Okay, we are almost done here. Day 23 is a fragrance and day, oh okay day 23 is the Lieb perfume this is probably the most beautiful bottle in my fragrance collection I do have a full size of this they have a couple flankers that came out there's the Lieb Entance Lieb Entance and then I think a lighter version this is very popular this has been super popular since it came out I feel like probably mostly because of the packaging. I love that the mini even has this similar design. The full size bottle has the 3D, again, similar to the mascara where the YSL kind of wraps around the packaging. In the full size, it kind of is a 3D. But even this mini has that little cutout. That's so cool. It looks like it has a little necklace around here. It's got that very sleek kind of architectural topper. And let's open this up. Okay, it's another dabber at the top. And this perfume, I like Lieb. However, 
I probably would prefer the lighter version. I think they released the Eau de Toilette and it's not just a less concentrated version. I think it even has different notes. So it might be a little more floral, I think. I feel like that's how it is. So, so yeah, this is the Lieb Eau de Parfum and it is the original Lieb that came out. But this is very popular. Have you tried this? It's really good. And we have come to the final day. 24. I feel like 24 should have been this gift from day 15, right? That should always be the final gift. Okay, I know why. <laughs> because day 24, it is from their Vestiaire collection, which is like their ultra high-end private blend, the Vestiaire collection. This is called Blouse or Blouse. And I am pretty sure I own the full size of this. I like that it tells you the notes on the label. This has, this is Rose and Angelique. Very pretty floral perfume. Another dab bottle. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's rose, but I feel like you get a lot of berry. I think it has like blackberry as a note. This is very good. I have the full size and I think like the bottle is down to here. This is one that I, when I spray it, it just smells so good that I spray it all over. So that is the blues from the Vestiaire collection for the final day 24. All right, guys, that is the YSL advent calendar for 2022. I love their consistent layout and design, especially for this year. I love the colors with the gold and black. These are all the contents and I think it is well worth it. I will definitely use most of these. If not, I will probably give it to my mom. I will use the eyeliner. I love the Volupt Shine Stick and the Tatouage Lip Cream. This little gift is cute. I like the brush that they had either last year or a couple years ago. And I love, love, the blues from the Vestiaire. Try out the Vestiaire collection if you haven't. These aren't available, I don't think, on most of the retailers. You have to get it directly from the department store or the YSL Beauty website. And then we have the YSL Lieb, probably one of their most popular fragrances. It's a great way to try out all the different pure shots if you have not already. And then we have this little baby travel eye makeup remover. But let me know what you think of the YSL advent calendar. At the very least, even if you don't use the lipsticks, the calendar is so pretty. I have reused the other years. I put candy in it. My kids just have at it during advent season. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.